These instruments come equipped with a two-channel waveform generator built into the instrument, which allows you to create your standard waveforms, which include a sine wave, square wave, ramp, pulse, DC, and noise functions. Then there are also a handful of built-in arbitrary functions, including a sync function, and we can load our own arbitrary functions by selecting the arb at the bottom. Let's select our sync function here, and we'll now see a sync function on our oscilloscope. Now let's move this so we can see two points. And now we can also change our frequency, the amplitude, offset, start phase, align phase, all that. And then if we wanted to, we can then go into our settings, and then we can go into type, and we can choose if we want to modulate the signal, sweep the signal, or burst the signal, if we would so desire. Let's go back to source one. Now to show some of the other capabilities of the instrument, let's turn on our second generator, which will now see a sine wave on channel two in blue. And what we're going to do here is we're going to select our waveform, we're going to actually go all the way down, and we're going to select arbitrary. And then from here, this is where you can load a stored channel. If you have a flash drive, you can create a function or edit one. Or you can load one from a channel. So let's say load channel 1 on the channel 2. So load the sync function in yellow onto channel 2 in blue. And then we can choose either screen or cursor data. So let's choose, let's go with cursor. And what we'll do is we'll set our two cursors to be at the peaks on our sync function. And then once we've done that, let's get this, we'll press load, and this will now load a sync function on the channel 2. And this can be rather useful for either doing more analysis on a signal that you're capturing with your oscilloscope, or if you just want to reproduce a glitch you've seen.